that's got the weight restriction on it. I mean, look at it now, it's got really heavy duty steel girders underneath it. It's obviously there, rated from a 7.5 ton. Right, so this is a bugger to get up this bit of a truck because it's all loose stones. Got one out here, go, son. Up, up. Good boy. So I'll get him to help pull us up, pull us up. It's the only time I don't mind when he's pulling, when he's helping us get up hills like this. Now, when I start recording, it's funny, I was just about to say, when I'm, when I'm walking along now after putting a battery in, I'm aware that if the battery doesn't uh, beep and go off within a certain length of time, I start to panic that it's not recording or something wrong. So that's when I would stop it um, and see if it comes up with a stupid message. Uh, please wait, repair and file. But just as I was about to say that, I got a beep, beep, beep. So I've got the first hour and a half recorded from leaving the car. Or however long that battery lasted, which like I say is normally an hour and 25 minutes. Good boy, going up we go, up. You're my anchor son, I've got to rely on, pull on, pull on your leader so I can pull myself up. Away, up, come on, up, up. Sorry, coming back down this way. I'm trying to get up these loose stones going uphill. Pain in the backside. Right, let's just stop, wait, come here. Let's just pan back round. Show you the countryside. Right, going up, you go up. Just continue with Murder Clough. It's uphill again on loose stones. So it's a pain in the ass to walk up here, like, but one foot in front of the other, like I say, keep going. So the bridge is just down there to my left. So it cuts off this big S bend, taking that little shortcut where I've just taken to come back up on the track here. Last few days I've been trying to negotiate with a, a guy that does welding because I want a proper, strong, welded frame to put four massive railway sleepers, um, timbers on and make a really heavy duty thick workbench to put in my shed. So I'm putting things out me. I'm, it, I'm getting into fixing microwave ovens at the minute. So I need a bench to put them on and I need uh, electrics to run up to it. And I'm gonna get a, like a filing cabinet with drawers to put my tools in. So they're there, ready to use for to do the little jobs I'm doing on repairing, well, stripping down and repairing microwave ovens. And I've done quite a few so far. I'm getting pretty good at working out what the problem is and re replacing the pots. So I'm working with normal microwaves that's got the transformers in and the magnetron and I'm also working on the other ones where the inverter um, is inside them which is much more lightweight to pick up and not as heavy as the normal ones. So the guy's um, away on holiday tomorrow for a week and then when he comes back he says I'll text you before I start um, fabricating yours and um, he wants us to send him a, a deposit for the materials that he's going to be using which is okay um, he's going to be painting the metal green for us to match me green metal shed where it's going in um, and with it being nice thick timber I'm going to drill holes to it and put boards to it and bolt a, um, a good heavy duty vice in it as well and that gives us back me, me hand but late like when I'm using the hack stores to cut pipe and stuff like that so it's all planned I've been in touch with a guy that's delivering me four railway sleepers from Morpeth 
Well, there's just been a workbench that doesn't need to be sanded or planed off smooth. It's because obviously there'll be tools getting bounced off it and all that. Microwave scrape along it. So, as long as it's sturdy and it takes the weight of uh, two or three microwave ovens at a time, and I can use it as a bench, workbench. That's, I'm happy with that. Right, the wind's picking up now. It's really blown. Oh. Right, come on, son. Come on, up, up. Come on, up you go. Right, so this is just going to do a, sleep, a sweep with left hand bend so like you get pretty much to the top and then it'll flatten out a bit. Right, come here son. Right, so that's looking back down. You can see the road down below, straight ahead. Or I've come along before, coming uphill. Right, come on then. Come on. Good boy, son. Good boy. He was well behaved when I went for him and brought him back to the house. And he was, loved going out in the garden, running backwards and forwards and chasing the pigeons and the crows out the garden and plucking the long grass as usual, eating the grass. He loves to come to my garden because it's big enough to run about in. And I've just recently cut the grass again. So it's a nice bit of playground for him. Get some of that energy off him. Right, come on. We'll never get where we're going, man. Right, so I've got another bit of a hill to get up there now, going around this right hand bend. Come on, yeah. Just up the top of the hill, there, and there's another one of those metal poles with a star on it. Um, pointing out an archaeological um, place, so no digging. Just at the top of the hill, where that sheep is. Just the left of it. Right, come on, son. Up, up you go. Up. Up you go. Come on, good boy. Good boy, son. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit there. Stay there. Stay there. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Up we go. Who's that, son? Who's that? Who's that, son? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, then, up you go. Hey, come on, up you go. So, they must be, they must um, be going to the Osby Ford Farm. So, 
So that's how I drive a all on these stone tracks because you don't want the stones getting flipped up off your tyres and chipping your paint off your, your car. So you just drive slowly over the stones. For him walking on his stones, so it's um, keeping his claws um, down to a minimum. It's wearing them down naturally. Allowed to go on my journey again now, oh. we're not waiting for you. Hey, right, come on. Any time to hey, any time to day, come on. Like I say, normally I don't mind, I just I'll wait until he's sniffed the grass and had a wee, but it just gets too much, it's it's every five seconds. Typical sound of that, like a pheasant. Squawking there. Right, so this is the this is the long bit that's going up and around this bend, getting up to the top of the hill. This is the leg killer, especially because the stones keep moving under your feet as you're walking up. So my first battery was recording from Trowers Car Park up past the farm and eventually got up to the that little shortcut I took on that little stone track going up the corner after I crossed over the stream. And my battery went just as I did that. So this next one should take us um, to going over the shortcut to get on the main road to go down towards Usby Ford Farm. And then the third one will be when I get off the main road and start walking up the forestry commission track. Right, there's the GS straight ahead, just on the left hand side of the road. I don't know if you can see it on camera, I don't know if he's close enough. But as soon as I go anywhere near it, it'll be off with the dog. He's just grazing on the left hand side of the road, look, where the road start to bend back round to the left. He should be able to smell the smell coming from it. Right, we'll just keep walking up slow. And eventually it'll... Oh, there's another one, there's a younger one. Just off the left hand side. It's just popped his head up out the long grass. Baby one. Try to walk up the crest. It's quieter. So I'm going to approach a little bit closer. Oh, there's a little baby one just in the You can just sit there. There it is, sticking up his head now. And there he goes, bolted. Leave it, son. Leave it. Leave it. There they go. So that was a nice bit of bonus footage. Two deer. 
run up through the trees there. Who's that son? Who's that? Oh, who's that son? Who's that? Leave them, leave them, leave them, leave them. Yeah, so he's got a lot of training to do. I mean, even if he went running after them, he, there's no way he'd catch them. Because <laughs> they bound and bound and jump over bloody fences, all kinds. And this is their territory, they know everything. Where the ditches are, where the streams are. Come on. The higher you go, you've got some beautiful views. Um, across the top of the hills because you get that high you can see over the top of them I think they're over this side on the inner circle it's a little bit shorter distance when you go around the inside circle Right, come on, up, up, come on, I'm walking up your backside. Can you smell them, son? Yeah? Can you smell them? So I'm slowing down, looking left to right. Just looking for them. You're dragging me all over, man. Here. Come on. Hey. You'll be well gone now, son. Come on. Right, so I'm just getting to the top now, where it's going to start going back down slowly, but surely. Another car park here. Right, so that's the uphill struggle done. These must have been up here camping last night. Right, round and down past Murder Clough. And then cut across the shortcut again to cut off the S bend going over the, the bridge. Right, so Murder Clough um, is just down here at the right. So the gravestone is just down there over the fence, past that metal gate on the left. So you go through the gate, go to that wire fence and look over and you see the little tombstone with the carved out words on it, saying such and such, such and such murdered, such and such. I can forget her name now. And the guy who supposedly murdered her. Right, so what you're seeing now is what I'm going to be looking at when I get to the tracks that supposedly take you down to Davidson's Lynn. It's all like that, but I mean, 10 times as bad. Crisscrossed little skinny trees, all falling over one another and completely blocked off the path. Completely. Right, I, I could go down there and follow the fence round and then just go up on the other side and instead of take the, the stone road track. I'll just stay on the road this time. But normally I go down there and stay close to the fence, cross over a little stream at the bottom, and just go past and up, up on the other side. 
then eventually it takes you out of the path where you go over the shortcut downhill where it's all swampy grass right so that's another way that I've come down from Windy Gal to come this way and drop down on the road here through the gate while there's black cattle and sheep Right, so this is a time when you've got to use caution going through fields if there's any young calves with the mams because the mothers will attack you if they feel that the calves are being threatened. So that's where you use extreme precaution and give them a wide berth. Otherwise, apart from that, cows are harmless. They're big, just daft, docile creatures. Soft as class, basically, but they do come up to you out of curiosity because the eyesight's not that good so when they come to you they're not going to come and charge you and ram you they just want to come and get closer and see who you are and what you are but I've walked through fields and fields of cows in fact I've gotten right up to them and let them lick my hand I've got no fear of cows at all Come on, yeah. Come on. Are we? Here. Good boy. Good boy. Right, so that's where the stream runs down. Hey, here. Yeah. Runs down there where across you step over it down down there by the wire fence. It's coming from up there and underneath the road here. And then dropping down there through the long grass. So once again. If it's a hot, really hot day and you want to get the dog to a drinking spot, that's another one. I know them all up here, every one of them. Watering holes. And where I'm going to be taking a shortcut, you've got to cross the stream anyway at the bottom. Go through a single gate and cross over the stream and then go up the Z path on either side, which is just like a grass quad bike track to get to the top where the shed is. Metal shack. Right, downhill now. Around the corner you go through an open gate. Where I think there's another cattle grate. So you've got to go off to the left to bypass it. Right, so that's the other way you come down from Wendy, Wendy Gale when you come through that double gate there, look. To bring you down to this part of the track. It depends on where you're going when you're coming down from Wendy Gale. Right, come on. Good boy, son. Good boy. 